It's another Jubal phone tap. 107.3 KFFM. Hello? Hi, my name is Seth McElroy. I'm calling from customer service. I was looking for Clinton. This is he. Hi, Clinton. Do you have a few minutes to talk? Uh, I don't uh, talk to telemarketers, so I'm, I'm not interested. Oh, I'm not a telemarketer. I'm calling from customer service about a purchase that you recently made. Okay. Well, what about it? Well, our records indicate that you recently made a return at one of our stores. Yeah. Okay. And the employee that you spoke with initially said that we could credit that amount back to your card. But unfortunately, we cannot do that for you now. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I follow you. What's happening? Will you try to return a pair of flannel pajamas, correct? Yes, I did. Well, according to our records, you told the employee who took the return that the pajamas didn't fit. Yeah, I tried them on, and they didn't fit, so I returned them. Right, and we don't accept used and or soiled undergarments, sir. What are you talking about? Are you really going to make me go into all the details? What details? Sir, you soiled your pajamas, and you tried to return them. What? You soiled... What? We both know what happened. You had an accident in your pajamas, and you tried to return them to the store. I I put them on for two seconds. I don't know how your body works, but for me, two seconds is enough to relieve myself. I had those on for two seconds. I, I even folded things before I put them back in the package. First of all, first of all, if you tried to fold a pair of pants with that in it, gross. And secondly, you're trying to defraud our company. I can't even believe I'm having this conversation with a customer service representative. Well, Haven't sir. Have you ever heard the customer is always right? The customer is always right unless they're pooping in a pair of pants and trying to return it. That's. I, I did not poop in my pants. That's not what the lab results said. You Lab? Yep. I sent it off to a lab that we work with. They sent it back to me. 99% confirmation that that's fecal matter. You tested a pair of... Well, how much did it cost to test a pair of $30 pajamas for fecal matter? It cost us quite a bit, sir, but we take our job very seriously. You take your job very seriously? You guys are, are fiend. At this point, you should be lucky that we're not prosecuting you. Pro- Prosecuting. Mm-hmm. Prosecuting. You know what? I'm going to come down and I'm going to actually give you a sample of, and you can test that against those pajamas. I would love that. Because hey, when I well, get the test results I'll, back. I'll send you over a big box of it. When the test res- when I get the test results back and they match, who's going to be the one laughing then, sir? You know what? I hope you send out and, and it costs you a grand to a pair of $30 pajamas. Oh, I'm going to test it and I'm going to prove you wrong. Are we done here? Are we done? Because you literally ruined my day. No, we're not done here until I tell you that this is a prank phone call. What? It's a joke. What are you talking about? This is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you. Oh, no. <laughs> Your wife, Sasha, set you up. She yeah. did not. No. She would never do that. Yes, she did. She <laughs> said that you're a pretty mellow guy usually and wanted to see if I could get you upset. Yeah. <laughs> Jubal Phone Taps. Catch him every weekday with Brooke and Jubal in the morning. 1073 KFFM.